Hello, here is an example of normal contaminant duodenal mucosa seen in an EUS guided FNA, endoscopic ultrasound guided FNA. Usually, when there is a lesion in the head of the pancreas, the needle will traverse the duodenal wall in order to reach its target and sometimes may pick up some duodenal epithelium. So, what we see on low to medium power are these very uh, regimented honeycomb sheets of cells. They're all very uniform and very bland. And at this power, you can just about make out that there may be some paler areas or what looks like holes in the flat sheet of mucosal cells. This is another sheet showing very clearly the holes that we can see as we focus up and down. And the holes actually represent goblet cells. And we can see them in a higher power view here. So it is helpful to focus up and down because you can sometimes see the honeycomb sheets of epithelial cells in a slightly different plane from the goblet cells. We can see honeycomb sheets also in contaminant gastric epithelium, except that we do not see the goblet cells. A similar picture is seen in the alcohol-fixed papaniculau stained smears. Again, we can see that there's a very uniform appearance of these extremely bland cells with round nuclei. Uh, you can just make out some of the holes or the goblets in the areas that I have indicated. And when we focus up and down, we are able to get a better idea of these goblets. Here is another sheet of contaminant GI mucosa. Again, you can appreciate the very regular arrangement of nuclei and also the lack of nuclear pleomorphism. The goblets are more obvious in this particular sheet as we focus up and down. And when we look at this area, I just want to contrast the difference between this abnormal sheet here and this normal sheet here. So this again is contaminant GI epithelium, a very regular honeycomb arrangement of cells. And in contrast, this sheet here shows much larger nuclei, but also the arrangement is very irregular. Some of the nuclei are overlapping, sitting on top of each other, and there isn't this um, very uniform honeycomb arrangement. Let's focus up and down. And you can see that these nuclei are much larger, they are more irregular, there is more variation in nuclear size and a much greater degree of disorganization compared to this honeycomb sheet. So this is actually an example of pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, contrasting this with normal GI contaminant epithelium. Benign pancreatic ductal epithelial cells can also look similar to this, and often the sheets of cells are smaller than those of contaminant gastric or duodenal epithelium.